right, man. Let's talk about why Future is getting a pass for ducking out of the Drake beef. Now, the, the beef originally started kind of with him. Now, uh, apparently, um, apparently, you know, they fell out over a woman. Now, the woman did come out, and she basically was like, uh, she came out and she said that, well, you know, they didn't fall out over me. And she made it clear that she wasn't black too. She was like, well, I'm not black. Um, I'm like, they always do that. I'm telling y'all. But then if they said they was giving uh, brothers and sisters reparations, everybody would come out. Oh, I am black. I am black. My, my, I, look at my skin color. My great grandfather, you know, he was a, you know, everybody would come out and say she was blessed. This woman said, I am not black. They always do that. That's why I be telling y'all, y'all be letting any and everybody in the culture. Y'all let any and everybody in the culture, bro, stop that. So apparently they fell out over this woman. She came out and basically said that, that you know, they, you know, they didn't fall out over her. And I mean, at the end of the day, they probably did. Now, it was also, also reported a lot of rappers fell out with Drake over French Montana and not clearing a song or something he done to French Montana. All right. So apparently um, they fell out over that. Um, now, uh, you know, but, uh, nonetheless, uh, why is he, you know, you know, he was part of that, that whole Metro booming this shit. Why is he getting the pass? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why is he getting the pass? You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he getting the pass for not getting into this Drake beef? You know what I'm saying? Metro Boomin then got up in it. Pause. Um, Kendrick Lamar then took the lead out of it. But y'all, 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 y'all got on uh, J. Cole for getting the hell up out of it. Then a lot of people silently were saying, well, I see why J. Cole uh, stayed out the beef. See, they pick and choose. You know, they pick and choose who 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 they want to pick on. And it's a popularity contest. And that's the problem, you know, in the black community as well, too. This rap community, this hip hop community, you know, that is, is very detrimental to black culture. All right. It's at the point where you got to differentiate the two, at least by errors or just say, you know what, black culture, hip hop. That's just, that's just what it's coming to. That's just what it's coming to. And um, because that's what that's what a lot of these women are are choosing. That's where a lot of these women are choosing their boyfriends, their baby, their baby daddies from off popularity. They think a nigga got some money because he ran a Hellcat and got some jewelry on, not knowing the jewelry is fake or the jewelry is rented or it's his homeboy jewelry or they rent the Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? They get some liquor. They got they hit a lick on some liquor, or they know the liquor man, and they get deceived. And they get deceived. You know, then they're like, oh, we didn't know he was broke, and we didn't know this, and we didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? You just looking like you fucking idiot. You're an idiot. You know? And it's all about clout. And J. Cole is not the most popular rapper. Obviously, he don't make music for, you know, watered down. Uh, he don't make watered down music. Yeah, they kind of said it about Nas. Oh, yeah, Nas, he used too many big words. And it's just the rap community, you know, hip hop community is just so ignorant. And just how they choose, you know, their favorite rappers. And they, they, they choose, you know, they like following them and they get a cat up to them expeditiously. That's how they pick dudes in the streets. They don't pick productive black men. You know, they pick who they perceive as popular. Like I said, it, it, it don't even come down to looks a lot of the time. It don't even come down to looks. Everybody talking about, oh, it's the look, it's the jawline, it's the, it's the he's in shape and... No, a lot of times it's come off persona. It come off uh, clout. It go off clout. Listen to me. A lot of times it come, it go off clout.
they go off clout. They go, you know, oh, look at the jewelry he got. That's why I be like, man, dudes who who got money, you know what I'm saying? Who got money, why are y'all paying? <laughs> this dudes who got who got clout, who, 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 who hitting chicks, who hitting chicks off of, uh, you know, just off of clout, not paying for nothing. But this is how a lot of a lot of people, you know, give the dudes in the in the in the, in the rap community a pass and that hip hop community a pass. And the guys who are productive, you know, well spoken for, accomplished, like J. Cole, they don't get that pass. It ain't because he ain't tall, it ain't because you know, ain't attractive. It's all about clout. That's how they pick their baby daddies. You know what I'm saying? It's all about toxicity, and we all fall victim to it. You know, you know, some of the best sex you had was make up, break up sex, or sex you with somebody you shouldn't even have been with. Now let's call a spade a spade. You know. You know, but at the end of the day, they was all on J. Cole. That nigga angry man was all oh, J. Cole ain't this and this and that nigga living in North Carolina. He ain't this. And he pulled out. He had his reason. The, bro the brother had his reason for pulling out the dude. He was on his neck, bro. Like, I'm like, damn, what he fucked your bitch? I fuck with angry man. What he fucked your bitch, man? The dude say, you know what, man? This shit's some goofy shit, which it was. I let Drake hype my head up to hop in this beef, right? I like I let I let Drake in there to hype my head up. You know this was wrong. Okay, I'm a bow out. This this ain't right. What's the problem with that? We should battle, and I mean, do you really want to see a, a two way battle? Drake and J. Cole versus, versus Kendrick Lamar? Like, come on now. Nah. I don't know. Based off what? That's you gotta tell yourself. Based off what? Because I let Drake hype my head up and then I start beefing with Kendrick Lamar and Drake just sit back and watch. And Drake and Drake just sit back and watch. That's what that's what Drake really was trying to do is put J. Cole is to put J. Cole in uh in uh and Kendrick against each other and he was trying to slide out the back door. That's exactly what he was trying to do. <laughs> that's exactly what he was trying to do. I'm telling you, that's exactly what he was trying to do. You know, but you know, why why is y'all giving future a pass? Well, you know, future ain't no battle rapper, and he nah, I ain't trying to hear that. This beef started with his ass, started over a chick. He should not, he should, he should not be off limits in this beef. He should be asked to get in the, uh to join in and go head up with Drake. Kendrick Lamar didn't already did what he did. Ain't no point in releasing no more diss tracks. He got he body Drake, and really didn't even put probably nowhere near his best effort. Drake ain't that type of rapper. One of them diss song niggas start singing at the. He can't help himself but to sing at the end. He can't help himself. He can't help himself. He can't. But future should be asked like everybody else. Future should be asked like everybody else to, 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 to battle. Meanwhile, he played a uh he played a background. Like ain't shit going on like Marvin Gaye. You know what I'm saying? He get a pass for not getting in there and battling. It's wild to me. That's crazy. That's super duper crazy.
No, nah, no, nah, get your wiggity, 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 quagmire ass up in there and battle. And I, I've been waiting to do this video because I ain't why you said nothing, said nothing about it. No, nah, I'll get your ass in there and battle. Y'all give him a pass because cause he's popular? Because he a pookie? He a Ray Ray? He a black Chad? Uh-uh. The same energy that niggas like Angry Man, a lot of these niggas had that J. Cole was mad. Where is that at for future? Tell me all. This rap community makes no sense. It ain't like we going to give him a pass because... Oh, what his body of work or what he's done in the past. No, they give him a pass because he's popular. Clout. I don't want to say something about that. Like that song. That shit grew on me a lot, but Kendrick Lamar sent a serious warning in that song. He said, he told Drake, you he gonna have to prove that he's a problem. And Drake should have heard that shit. He should have bowed out. No. That was the most threatening thing he said in the song because it's how he said it. He said something, something, something. They hyping him up, blah, blah, blah. Now he going to have to prove that he a problem. And he proved that he wasn't. Simple as that. And most of the hardcore Drake fans, they don't, they're not real rap fans. And there ain't too many real rap fans exist no more because it doesn't, it's a lost art. What Future do, I don't consider that rap. What Drake do, I don't consider that rap. These niggas is pop rappers. Faris Khalifa say, yeah, I pop up and make a hundred million dollars. <laughs> ain't no real rap. And that's cool. Rap got genres in it. Pop rap, conscious rap, even though that shit did. Ain't never all that around. That's your rap. Trap rap, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out the music entertainment playlist, hit the link tree, check out the Patreon, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Kick, Twitch, Instagram, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, the whole nine. Hit the link tree and find me everywhere. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.